In the last 24 hours, over 30 Hezbollah missiles fell in northern Israel in response to the elimination of a major Hezbollah terrorist in an unusual attack by the Israeli Air Force in southern Lebanon. Meanwhile, we take a look at the IDF's intelligence treasury and ask some questions, such as how did Hamas turn Gaza City's Shifa hospital into a terror base? And how does fighting in Gaza advance Israel in subduing Hezbollah? I'm Yair Pinto, and this is your Boots on the Ground report about what is happening in Israel in this 173 day of the war with Hamas and Hezbollah. Hezbollah has continued firing at Israel all morning, with one Israeli killed and two others wounded by the barrage of rockets fired at the city of Kiryat Shmona in the Galilee. Several buildings in Kiryat Shmona were damaged. The Hezbollah attack followed Israeli air force strikes in the Lebanese town of El Habaria overnight. These strikes resulted in the elimination of a senior operative in the Jamaha Ismaia organization, along with several other terrorists who were hiding in the building. These terrorist operatives were known to be responsible for several attempts to attack Israelis, but they won't be doing that anymore. The Hezbollah-affiliated El Mayadin media portal said the Israeli airstrike left seven Hezbollah terrorists dead and was aimed at the center of the Islamic medical group in the town. The report also said that as of Wednesday morning, there was an ongoing search of the rubble to try to find survivors. However, in the past, the IDF spokesman revealed in Arabic that this formation was used to cover various terrorist activities. In response, Hezbollah issued a threat that this attack will not go unpunished. But we've grown accustomed to hearing this kind of dishonest rhetoric from terrorist organizations. This is a good place to pause and declare once again that together we will spread the truth. Please help us by sharing our videos on YouTube, subscribing to this channel and following us on social media so that more people will know what is going on in Israel and how to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let's shift focus now to the Gaza Strip and give a summary of the operation at the Shifa hospital in Gaza City, so you can understand how Hamas turned this hospital, which is supposed to be a place of refuge and healing, into a base of terrorism and violence. To start, it is important to point out that many of these terrorists dressed as medical staff while using the hospital as a shelter, which is a major violation of international humanitarian law. Video footage from the interrogation room of Unit 504 in the IDF's intelligence division reveals the cynical and sick use of the Shifa hospital by the terrorist organizations for terrorist purposes, with one estimate given that about 600 to 1,000 Hamas operatives are hiding in the hospital. The investigations are further evidence of how the terrorist organization Hamas knowingly endangers the residents of the Gaza Strip. With the IDF looking for them, these terrorists have no safe place to be except the hospitals, schools, and other civilian infrastructure where they are surrounded by innocent people they can use as human shields. However, in the last day in the Gaza Strip, IDF and Shin Bet forces continued targeted operations in the area of the Shifa hospital. The combat teams of the 401st Brigade, the Nahal Brigade, and the 13th Fleet under the command of the 162nd Division are fighting in the area while avoiding harm to civilians, patients, medical teams, and medical equipment. In the last 24 hours, they have eliminated dozens of terrorists while uncovering terrorist infrastructure and weapons in the area of the hospital. Hundreds of other terrorists have been arrested and interrogated. Elsewhere, the IDF and Shin Bet forces led by Division 98 continue fighting in the El Amal and El Karara area. They have eliminated several terrorists and uncovered warehouses 
filled with weapons and ammunition. A 7th Brigade combat team has also been hard at work at the area and engaged in fierce battles with terrorists, eliminating several and taking others as prisoners. Meanwhile, the combat teams of the Commando Formation and the Givati Brigade continue to operate in the El Amal area in the Hanunas neighborhood, supported by the Air Force. They have achieved similar results, confiscating large quantities of weapons that are meant to attack Israelis. Nearby, in the central district of the Gaza Strip, the battle team of the Naha Brigade has also been at work securing the future of the State of Israel. Above it all, the Air Force has been acting in direct support of these ground forces and has also been engaged in strikes on tunnels, military buildings, armed terrorists and other terrorist infrastructures. Please continue to support us so that together we can spread the truth Hit the follow button and if you can support us, enter the link below so that together we can spread the truth. As a reminder, this coming weekend, a new episode of the new series, My State, will be released. Back to the battles against Hamas, which suffered a propaganda defeat from a surprising source over the last 24 hours. Residents of the Gaza Strip are beginning to speak up about how happy they are that Israel is eliminating the Hamas terrorist leadership which has been abusing them for such a long time. Social media posts out of the Gaza Strip indicate, for instance, that prices in the markets are on a downward trend and residents are giving credit to the elimination of senior members of Hamas. For example, a man named Diab Faras wrote that after we used to stand in line for chicken and meat and until it was our turn we could no longer buy them thank god for the second day in a row that our breakfast is chicken and meat and delicious things that we completely avoided during the entire war in response another resident answered him and wondered, is the killing of the five Hamas members responsible for the distribution of aid in Rafah the reason? Because I noticed that the prices are starting to drop and the goods are diverse in the market. Another person wrote in amazement, the prices have dropped? A kilo of sugar rages between 70 to 20 shekels. Is the end of the world happening today? In response, one of the residents admitted, that Hamas has taken over the market. Look, Hamas is taking the entire Palestinian population in the Gaza Strip as hostages. Not just the Israelis, it is keeping in underground locations somewhere. So together we need to share the truth and complete our mission of destroying Hamas so that this terror organization will stop to exist. Speaking of truth, as I've mentioned in previous reports, as long as there is fighting in Gaza, Hezbollah will continue to attack Israel on the northern border and therefore we have international legitimacy to attack Hezbollah back. We must leverage this reality in the best way to create a better outcome for Israel's long-term strategic position in the region. The more pressure we put on Hezbollah now, while they're giving us a legitimate reason to do so, the easier it will be to demand that they move their forces north of the Litani River, far enough from Israel's border, that the residents of these northern cities will feel safe and return to their homes. We are talking about 80,000 Israelis that are displaced from their houses up in the north. While this continues, Israel should take every opportunity to hit Hezbollah's infrastructure south of the Litani River and even further north inside Lebanon, including senior Hezbollah leaders and other terrorists who use this country as a base to attack us. Israel has been doing this already, and I hope this momentum will continue. This exercise is what is sometimes called mowing the grass. It has already produced some good strategic results for the state of Israel. Although there have been some deaths and a great deal of physical damage on the Israeli side, these results are quite significant 
and quite positive for Israel. Right now, all the attention is focused on Gaza, and rightfully so. But as soon as the fighting there stops, the fighting in the north will probably also stop. Hezbollah doesn't want a war with Israel right now and would very much like the whole situation to go away. They've already been badly damaged and every day this continues, it just gets worse for them. With all this in mind, I will ask you to once again, please continue to spread the truth with us. Share and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and most importantly, what counts the most is to pray for the situation, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, the idea of soldiers, and for Israel to win this war, return our hostages back home so that this terror group will end here and will not spread to the rest of the world. Hello, this is Mati here in Jerusalem with TBN Israel. This is Yair Pinto from TBN Israel here in Jerusalem. TBN Israel is keeping viewers informed with Israel-focused news, culture, and what God is doing in this land. Support TBN Israel today online at tbn.org Israel. Thank you.